Uh, the president tweeting just moments ago saying the Fed uh, should lower interest rates to make the U.S. more competitive and that manufacturing would soar. The dollar is very strong relative to others. So that's just coming up. Well, that's interesting. So, so again, it, th there were headlines out there. The FT ran an article and it talked about how the Fed, the Fed, the Fed should let their inflation targets run. So, if the Fed doesn't believe that there's any inflation, conceivably, they certainly don't need to raise rates. There are some that could say that monetary policy is too tight. I am not one of them, but certainly the president is one. All right, let's get to this big battle that's brewing on Wall Street. Among a handful of well-known companies, names like GE, Uber, Facebook, and Lyft are just some stocks where Wall Street analysts remain deeply divided. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Tesla is the biggest battleground stock with a low-end analyst price target of $190 a share, the high end coming in at a whopping $949. Wow. Who is that? Um, you can check out the full list of stocks on our website. Um, but we asked this question here, you know, because this got us thinking. Mm, we like to think here. How divided is our desk on these very same names? To find out, we thought it'd be a perfect time to play a game of... Trade it or fade it! That's right. Since you know all the rules, and these guys are so good at the rules here. Sometimes. Let's yeah. get right to it with the ride share player. Price target of ninety six fifty on the high end, $35 on the low end. So, Tim, trade or fade, lift. Again, I, I'm trading this one, so let's get out there right away. I know the rules. I know how to play the game. I, I think we've had a bit of a renaissance in the stock. In fact, it's rallied 30% off the bottom. I, I think the expectations were reset, but I think the profitability expectations of 4Q 2020 may still be very heavy. Either way, I, I think we still haven't really proven profitability in this name, and I still think there are structural issues. Even though, relative to Uber, it looks better, I'm, I'm fading. Uh, I've been a trader on this name since like the low 40s, late hmm. 30s. Yeah, I, I, listen, I just think that, you know, there's going to be, you can't take all of these 2019 tech IPOs and throw the baby out with the bathwater. I think there's going to be some winners. Obviously, there's some that have done really well. I just think among the big ones, right, the ones with real market caps. So to me, I think this thing, if it can stabilize here somewhere in the 40s, I think you probably see this thing trade up early in 2020, maybe back towards that IPO price. I'll play the game correctly, Melissa. And I do you would know say, how to play the game correctly? Yes, I, yes okay. I Why do you say it as if you wondering. typically don't? Because he typically sometimes, doesn't. There's, there's so I many different games. To us. <laughs> exactly. There's so no, many different, sometimes it gets confusing. Okay. Yeah. Trade it. Okay. Play the graphic. You know what that means. I do know okay, what that good. means. Right. And if you look, the last two quarters, I think, have been pretty good. If you remember, over the summer, this was a $60 stock. They told us about the pathway to profitability. It was trading 63 in the after hours. Then they talked about the lockup coming up in late August, if you recall, 290 or so million yeah. shares. You had Uber a, a week or so later, and the stock cratered. I think you can see the stock back to that 63 level. As a matter of fact, a company called Loop Ventures, I believe, just upgraded the stock and put a $62 price target on it. All right. Let's move on. General Electric, high-end price target, $21. And then you got Stephen Tusa on the other end, $5 mm -hmm. on the price target. Karen, trade or fade GE? Uh, I'm of two minds myself. But if I had to pick one, it would be trade it. Nice. I think that, you know, there's a number of good businesses there. There's a number of not-so-good businesses. There's also a ton of debt. So I think this one will go one of two ways, either up a lot or down a lot. I think they have a great CEO. Um, there's clearly some headwinds. The power business, I mean, aviation could be great. We'll see They, you know, the, if the Boeing, the 737 MAX is mm -hmm. important to them. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I would only play it through leaps because you want to know exactly what you're going to have at risk because it could go, could turn into a faded. Right. Mm. All right. Uh, Facebook here. High target of 330, low target of 120. Dan, trade it or fade it? You know, listen, I'm fading it here. And, and, and this is not an easy one here because I think expectations for this company have come down dramatically. And I think that if they can start outperforming in 2020, it's going to be a cheap stock. I will tell you that at some point in 2020 or 2021, this is going to be the poster child for ESG investing. The, 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 you may see people avoiding this thing. Sounds like, like you're they do my op tobacco. Poster I mean, that. Of, you mean so ESG, not environmental, ESG. social, and corporate governance. They're, people won't want to be They in will it. not want to be it. They, they're probably not in it now because yeah, of the governance. That's, that's, that's the been the story. Though. Well, I just think that you're going to see this as an increasing trend in asset management, and I think names like this are going to become right increasingly on. in focus as we've just kind of avoiding some of the things that we know that we touch and right. feel that we know are damaging. All right, last but not least, Wall Street's number one battleground stock with nearly 800 bucks separating the highest and lowest price targets. 
Guy Dami. Yes. Trading or fading fade Tesla. It. Quickly, see, bang, fade it, Mel. And listen, the stock was a $180 stock in June. You had that move, a straight up move in October from 255 or so to three and a quarter. Rarely do you see a stock move like that and not revisit at some point. The 50% correction of that June low and the recent high of 380 comes in around 275 or so. I think that's what it trades down to. So I understand there's a lot of uh, anger out there in the Tesla community, both bulls and bears. Uh, I think the stock trades lower before it trades back to those all-time highs. So I'm in the fade it mode.